Okay, when we initially started to get into Fort Manly, we talked about my favorite, which was Amber Absolute, right? And how I had it in my collection for a while and uh, had it as a sample. I kept buying it as a decan and then eventually I was like, you know what, I just got to get it. But I ran, I fell down the rabbit hole. I got that Amber Absolute. And today I want to talk about the other one that I fell in love with. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nairi and you can follow me on all my social medias. Uh, on here, we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. We talk about uh, probably mostly uh, fragrances that has been recommended. There are fragrances people want to hear about. They want to know in my collection that I have behind me, do I happen to have a particular fragrance and if I can do a video on it. So I have no problem with doing that. Uh, if I have it, then I'll log in and make a video uh, for them and of course anyone else who might be interested in it. Uh, but if you've never heard of me, go ahead and subscribe. Again, join the community. And for all my returning subscribers, welcome back. We are still talking about Fort Mainly uh, and how I fell in love with this line, right? Uh, it's another one that I end up getting. And this one actually reminds me a lot of Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. It also reminds me of Las liquidites i think it's called imaginaires bella rambello uh it is so close to so and i'm gonna tell you why i feel like it's so close to this one it is so close to george Alves, curtis del sora too and it's because of that dried fruit so if you're interested in what fragrance am i talking about then please stay tuned Okay, when we initially started to get into Fort Manly, we talked about my favorite, which was Amber Absolute, right? And how I had it in my collection for a while and uh, had it as a sample. I kept buying it as a decan and then eventually I was like, you know what, I just got to get it. So I thought that was the best because they do have a 40 Thieves uh, fragrance, right? And I like it, but not enough to buy it. But I ran, I fell down the rabbit hole. I got that Amber Absolute. And today I want to talk about the other one that I fell in love with. And that one is All the Queen's Men. If you have not tried this one, I don't know what you're waiting on. This one is so good. There is a honey note in it, right? So it's dry fruit, it's rum, it's honey, it's vanilla. It has a woodiness in the dry down cinnamon and there's a fur like a almost like a almost greeny greenish note right but i don't really get that one what i get is dried fruit rum and honey there is some vanilla but it's dried fruit rum and honey so if you like a boozy scent all the queens men this is the one this thing is so, oh my God, it's so almost edible. The fragrance comes off like, almost like like you can just, the person wearing it, you kind of want to just bite their skin. <laughs> it is, it's, it's just that almost pictures like edibleness to it. Now, it does have a heavy boozy note. So if you are in, if you're not really into boozy, don't get it but if you're like me and you love a good boozy fragrance jump on it but what i needed more in there and it's again it's one of the ones that can stand alone this is a standalone fragrance it's not a fragrance i often blend with something else when i wear anything by fort manley but in particular when i wear amber absolute or if i put on all the queen's men that's it that's all i'm wearing i'm not putting on anything else <laughs> And the base for it, I'm going to base it with, if you had an opportunity to get this one from Victoria's Secret, it's called Toasted Honey. I base it with that because it enhances that honey note. But the, this actually one has candied pear, toasted hazelnut, and golden, it says golden honey, right? And I actually got this on a fluke, right? Uh, I went to the outlet, they had them, and I and it was like I think almost three or four dollars or whatever, and it was and it was running the sale. They was trying to get rid of them. It was in one of the baskets. Matter of fact, it was four ninety five. 
and it was in a in a little bucket and everything in there was $4.95 so I bought a whole bunch of them I bought all various different fragrances and one day I'll get into all my Victoria's Secrets ones that I found at the outlet but this is one of them that I found toasted honey what toasted honey does paired with all the queen's men is it enhances the honey note it make it almost sticky the dry fruit in that rum is front and center the honey is like a touch of honey by itself so for women if you want to add a little more honeyness to it put toasted honey but this this is good all by itself all right so we talked about all the queen's men and how much I'm in love with that one. And if you are able to and you haven't, I have a video about Amber Absolute who started this whole line or this whole vision for me to get into Fort Manley's fragrances. Uh, Late Harvest is another one that I have. And one day I'm going to do a video about that one. Uh, actually, I did get Late Harvest, but FedEx decided to throw my box. So I couldn't figure out why it, it kept leaving like a little wet, like almost like a residue under it when I put it on the shelf. And what I realized is that it, it had a crack in it. So I packaged it back up and sent it back to uh, Fragrance Net and, uh, in hopes that they can refund me, which they did refund my money, but I actually want the fragrance. And as of today, that fragrance is no longer available. So I'm on their waiting list. So to say that I was disappointed, uh doesn't even add up to it late harvest is so good uh and i like i said again i fall in love with this particular line but the moment i get late harvest back we're going to do a video on it if you have tried anything from this line tell me about it in the comments i would love to hear about it what's another one from them that i need to get i have amber absolute Today's uh, video was about all the Queen's men, and I told you I had an opportunity to get late harvest, but it came damaged. Uh, so what's another one? Tell me, so I can make sure that I add it to my collection. And I enjoy doing this with you. I look forward to every opportunity I can sit down and tell y'all about some new fragrances. I hope I told you about a new line and you decide to get it too. But on that note, I am going to bid you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and I will see you in the next video.